welcome back to the Very Lilla Challenge. Today we are on day five and we are going to cover how to strum, how to pick, and I'm also gonna give you a little technique that will kind of, it's a little bit more advanced, just for those of you who've been playing ukulele already and you know how to do this, I wanted to have something in here for everyone. This video will go a little better if I change the angle, so I'm gonna move the camera right now, but then we'll be back here in a bit. Okay, so we're going to be strumming where the fingerboard and the body meet. And one of the reasons we do that is because if we start strumming over here, our finger can catch because we have a sound hole. Maybe your ukulele is different and it doesn't have a sound hole here. Maybe it has it over here or somewhere else. But um, we're gonna start here because that's gonna help our finger just glide off. Now look at how I'm strumming and I'm gonna give you a different option too. Um, I'm going to pretend I'm holding something here. I think Katie from a music school called this the rooster position. So I'm borrowing that from Katie. So um, I'm gonna hold a rooster, but then I'm gonna close the hand. And now I'm gonna use just that finger on the side, watch, look up, to come down. Now, this is not really a strum. A strum is kind of like, it's just falling down. I'm not pushing in, look up here, I'm not pushing in, I'm gliding down, I'm falling that way. So, let the hand just do it effortlessly. It's really natural, keep going. If you're doing this, your hand is too stiff. Relax it, pretend it's a fish, just flap. A dead fish. <laughs> okay, so I said I gave I would give you several techniques. Some people like to strum with all the fingers, so they will hold the hand kind of like this, and then go sideways. That works too. And then some of my beginners like to use the thumb, like this. But it's really soft and you might get uh, blisters here. So I do recommend this one. I like the index. And going up, it's just the fleshy part of your finger. And by the way, my nails are like short on the fingerboard hand, long on the strumming hand. But if you have short nails, like it can, you can still use the side of your hand and the fleshy part coming up. Like that's still an option to you. I just switched to show you from the short nailed hand. So um, let's strum open four times and then rest for four beats, okay? One, two, ready, go. If you tried just the one finger right now, let's try all four fingers. If you did all four fingers, try one finger. So basically switch whatever you just tried. Here we go. One, two, try something new. Now we're going to do something that's a little bit more challenging usually for beginners is the up strum. Usually for some reason that up strum just feels unnatural for a lot of my beginners. So we're just going to do up and I'm just kind of gliding the chunky part of my finger upwards. So just up, that's it. Nothing too fancy. So let's do it four times. One, two, ready, up. strumming by the way try not to hold the hand in a really stiff position like I don't want this to be locked I want it to be free and flowing 
Like just relax and breathe, drop the shoulders, okay? So now let's go into picking, but let's take two deep breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, breathe in. Again, breathe out. Okay, I feel different already. <laughs> okay, so for the picking, we're going to do it at the sound hall. And please assign one finger per string. Okay, so we have the thumb, index, middle, ring. Okay, so now I want you to try thumb, index, middle, ring, thumb, Index, middle, ring, go. Index, middle, ring, thumb, index, middle, ring. One more. Relax, breathe. Breathe again. There we go. Try it again. One, two, ready, go. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Two more times. Thumb, index, middle, ring. One more. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to try a picking pattern that's just the thumb and the index on the same string. Thumb index, 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 thumb index. So we're going to use this tomorrow when we start doing our chromatic scale. So it'll sound something like this. Just to give you an idea. So um, please practice that one. Please post videos of your progress, of your uke zones, of anything like that. Use the hashtag so that everybody else can see. And I really love to see your pictures and your videos too. So I'm searching for them on Facebook and on Instagram and anywhere else where we share stuff. Tomorrow we will be applying what we learned here today, especially that advanced technique will definitely come into play. So if you can pick up, pick, pick up how to do that one, that will like make your playing just go to the next level. So practice that. If that is too like far ahead for you, then just work on just the basic picking, the basic strumming, and you will be just fine on this challenge. Alrighty, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Sayonara!